everybody, it's Missy from Shimmers again, and today I wanted to try something really neat that I saw on Pinterest. And what you're going to need is any of your Shimmers products and some rubbing alcohol with a Q-tip. This is something that you probably already have in your bathroom, and it's going to do something really cool to the paints. So I'm using some white cardstock here. I have not done any gesso work on it at all. I'm going to use creamies in a jam here and all I'm going to do is make a little color swatch here on my paper and when you do this you know you can make this bigger or smaller or in a shape whatever you're working on but you want to make sure that it's wet and in order for this to work the paint has to be wet on the paper so don't dry it first. So I've got my paint down all I'm going to do is take the q-tip and saturate it with some alcohol and then sort of use it as a paintbrush and just let it drip right on top. And look what happens. It sort of spreads and it almost bleaches the color away and makes it a lot lighter. It gives it a very neat effect and it's fun to watch it spread and change color. And it looks really neat once it's all dry. So I thought I would try a couple of different shimmers. This is Aqua Hues in Seeing Red. It's a little bit thinner not as bold of a color and there's no shimmer in this one but it's going to do the same thing how awesome is that you could do bigger drips you could do smaller drips you could shake it and really get some tiny little splatters on there and it's going to give it a totally different look every time this is inklings minor minor 49er and clearly you can see that this is a very shimmery but very light color it's not it's not meant to be dark at all but it still works when the alcohol hits it and i chose all these colors today for this experiment because they remind me of christmas time and you know we're in december and so i thought it would be fun to try those colors this is velveteen green vibes and then this is colorings my bleeding heart and I need to clean that nozzle so it doesn't spray so much. But yeah, this is really fun. It gives it a really cool look. It would make a really cool background to do this. Um, you know, you could do the packaging technique. You could paint it on with a brush. So many ideas. But something that you definitely need to do is use the alcohol on it when the paint is wet. Because I experimented and went back over it once the paint was dry. And look, it does not do it at all so once the paint is dry on the paper it's not going to work so make sure you do this when it's wet and like i said this was just an experiment to see if this would work clearly it does so i think i'm going to try this on a layout very soon and see what kind of results i can come up with but there's the still shot of how all these colors look when the alcohol drips onto it makes it look like you used two different colors when you really didn't so thanks for watching i hope you give this a try see you next